Welcome everyone to Podcast Theory Productions. My name is Jesse and today we have with us Mr. Ryan Cox. Ryan, thank you for being here. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you for having me. It's actually Ryan Rox, R-O-X. Oh, Rox. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> know it's okay. It's definitely a different last name. <laughs> uh, idiot moment. Okay. My apologies. Oh, it's actually oh. uh, funny because I have a friend named Brian Cox. So. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I totally. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. So you... You just got recently selected for High Desert Screening. Uh, yeah. Your movie was submitted to that, and congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, our trailer got selected for official selection movie trailer at High Desert, and um, yeah, I'm so happy and so excited. This is our, our first uh, official selection. So very nice. And the and the name of your movie is Crawl, and uh, and as we were talking uh, just before the interview, you it is you said it's a mystery thriller based on true events it is yeah so it's uh based on true events it uh takes place in the day of the life of an average teenager who unexpectedly takes down a notorious serial killer Ooh, okay <laughs> okay so are you in the movie i actually am uh yeah <laughs> uh i feel like I was writing my own movie and I was probably gonna end up directing and producing and a bunch of hats on and I'm like, hey, hmm, <laughs> this, this sounds like another IMDb credit, might as well. Might as well, okay, that's beautiful. Okay, so okay, so besides the fact that it was based on true events, what led you up to uh, wanting to take on this project and bring it to life? Yeah, um, I actually did see a documentary, so it's it's a fairly well-known uh, story. Uh, it just hasn't been told in the way that we're telling it. And so I did see a documentary and I started looking into it and I was just really touched and moved by um, the uh, victims of this serial killer. And I wanted to tell their story. And so it's from a different light. Uh, you know, a lot of people glamorize or at least talk about the serial killer themselves and not the victims. And so it's kind of a, a twist on on the narrative. And that's what really wanted uh, led me to start writing this film uh, while I was in quarantine last year. Okay, that's, oh, so it was a little bit of a quarantine script writing. Yeah, definitely. I was, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm actually an up and coming actor and I wasn't able to film anything. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll write something. Uh, write it to be able to be filmed when I could and yeah uh, something that started as an idea in October um, is finally coming to fruition and um, last October I did kind of mental note uh, say I want to have a horror film out next Halloween because I was sitting at home watching horror films and that's all, all we could do really last year so like next year I want to be the one in the horror film and of my name on the directed by credit. That is awesome. So you got you got some downtime, you're you're pondering some thoughts and Yeah. You got this movie out. That's incredible. So is there without um it, it is it um uh, is it kind of like since you're telling it from the, the point of view of the victims, is it kind of like a documentary ish type? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Can you repeat that question one more time? Yeah, so I was just just curious. Um, your your the point of view of the film, since you're telling it from the point of view of the victims, is it kind of more like a documentary, or is it still like horror thriller movie style? So um, I had to go on the very little that we had to go on that was actually uh, known of the victims and what happened to them. So I kind of, I really base it on true events. So it's quite literally based on true events. And so everything in the film is as factual as it can be, but with the twist of, you know, creative liberties, but in a respectful way. Okay. So a lot of it, we did pay attention to close details and we made sure that we were very respectful to the victims and families, because that was the whole point of the film. Right, okay, that's amazing. Ooh, I'm so excited to <laughs> see it at yeah. the screening. I'm yeah, so excited. Yeah. That's, you're excited. <laughs> um, so, do you do you have um, any 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 other 
uh, things coming up on the horizon after this? Any other yeah, projects well, planned? We submitted to uh, nine total festivals and High Desert was our first one that uh, kind of picked up our trailer and we weren't quite done with Crawl yet. So unfortunately we weren't eligible to do the, the short film selection, but hopefully next year maybe. Um, but yeah, so hopefully um, we're gonna roll out Crawl in October. And I actually just was so inspired by um, making this and the filmmaking process that I've already uh, written, cast, and I'm in pre-production for my second uh, short film, which we're gonna be filming at the end of August. Oh, wow, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And it's all gonna be filmed in New Mexico also. So oh, that's exciting. I'm very proud to be um, making films in New Mexico. Yeah, New Mexico uh, is, you know, I've, I've, you know, I, I moved here in '99, and it, it, I, it has some of the most beautiful landscapes and sunrises and sunsets I've ever seen anywhere. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, it was that was kind of one of my uh, things I wish I could have played with, but with Crawl, it actually takes place in a different city, <laughs> so it was like we couldn't really play with the exteriors of it. But it was uh. fun making. Las Cruces, New Mexico, where I'm from and where we filmed, uh, into a big city, which I also won't won't give away because that that city kind of is a little big of a hint. But you will see a different city, but it is Las Cruces, New Mexico. <laughs> so. Oh wow, yeah, we yeah we don't want to give away too much. Yeah, okay. I know. So, um, <laughs> all right. So do you uh, you got uh, any kind of like uh, social media or anything you want to shout out to anybody? You know, people can go check you out at. Yeah, of course. Uh, my Instagram is I'm Ryan Rocks. So it's I am R Y A N R O X. And uh, Twitter is Ryan Rocks. Uh, Facebook, Ryan Rocks. And yeah, you can follow Crawl on uh, every platform at Crawl Film. And at Crawl Film. When we're going to have uh, any premieres nearby, if we are going to have any fun screenings that we're attending, like High Desert, um, which actually I just found out today. Uh, I believe at least six of us from the film are going up there and making the trip to Albuquerque next Friday. So, Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to drive three hours because we really want to uh, meet everyone, meet Carmen and thank her in person and meet you. And yeah, so we're really excited to be um, accepted and invited. So Yeah, that that is such a, a, a wonderful thing that those two ladies are doing with that with that screening and the and the yeah. wild heart cinema that that's incredible especially you know for all the local talent in this state is just amazing yeah exactly we're, we're so excited to be a part of it yeah, so well um i guess um i guess that's uh the about um, about it i guess cool yeah well, you know? thank you so much for having me jesse yes sir i, I appreciate it uh uh ryan uh thank you for for joining me and and uh and have a safe trip up here friday and I look forward to meeting you. And um, until then, have a good one and stay safe. For sure. Thank you. You too, Jesse. I'll see All you right. Soon. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs>